Did you know that New Zealand is home to some of the ocean's biggest predators? Today we're at Whangarei Harbour and I hear this is where some of them stop for lunch. I'm Riley, Young Ocean Explorer. I'm here to find out more about one of my favourite animals. They're the same colour as pandas, but they're no big softy. They eat sharks for breakfast. They are orca. This is my dad, and this is Dr Ingrid Visser, New Zealand's orca expert. I hope you see some orcas there, that would be awesome. You and me both. <laughs> so they hunt along this bank quite a bit, Ingrid? Yeah, well normally they'll come down this side and then go across to Snake Bank. Searching for orca takes a lot of patience. We're in a spot where they are regularly sighted, but no sign of them so far. Hi Dad, what are you up to? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh, I don't think it's a ray, is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just underneath the surface, look! That's a ray, that's a ray! That's a ray! And where are we? Right there! Oh yeah, look at it! Whoa, oh, look at it go! Yeah. Oh my gosh, how fast can it go? Yeah, well they have to go fast enough to get away from the orca. We just saw an eagle ray! It seems our chances of spotting an orca today are pretty slim, but we decide we'll get in the water anyway and see what's going on where they normally feed. Orca have babies twice as heavy as my dad and can grow as old as your grandma. And there are only around 200 that live around New Zealand. Dr Ingrid, they must need to eat heaps of food. Yeah, they do, and it depends on the size of the orca. So, you know, adult male orca can grow nearly as big as this boat. They eat somewhere between 50 to 100 kilos of food a day, so that's wow. about your size, all the way up to about the same size as your dad. Wow. And get this, they love eating stingrays. They just rip them apart because they've got teeth that are really pointy like a dog's. One orca will hold a part of the ray and then the other one will hold another part and they just rip it apart. Yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty gruesome for the ray. I was out with Dad once and this orca came right up to the boat with a stingray. It was awesome. Right behind you, look. It's following you. that close up is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. They move all around New Zealand, so you never know when you might be lucky enough to see one. You want to take this in? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll be the cameraman and you can be the old ocean explorer. <laughs> Orca often come into harbours like this one. We didn't see any this time, but I got to film some cool little creatures. And we could definitely see where Orca had been. Check out the tooth marks on this eagle ray. Oh, hey. How that smiles? That ray was so shallow. How could an orca get that one? Well, actually what happens is sometimes they get stuck. New Zealand has the highest rate of orca strandings in the whole world. Strandings obviously are a problem for them, but one of the things that's actually worse is something that's in the harbours, and that's pollution. When they get all the pollutants in their bodies, sometimes they can't even have babies anymore. So then we would lose the orca, and that would be seriously sad. So I guess we have to watch what we put down our drains then. Yeah, absolutely everybody has to. I bet you can see why orca are one of my favourite sea creatures. The little things we do on land have a big impact on the ocean. Run a Yorker, Orca! Orca, Orca! Oh, hey, Phil went see one today. And Orca's got me. 